हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिलीवर्ड माय टॉपिक ऑन मॉस्बार स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ गूगल साइंस कॉलेज मॉस्बार स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम एस सेमेस्टर टू दिस इज द थर्ड यूनिट ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दीज आर दी पॉइंट्स विच वी विल डिस्कस टूडे लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मॉस्बार स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी रिकॉइल एनर्जी एंड डॉपलर इफेक्ट Let's start with the introductory part. Mosbach spectroscopy also known as nuclear gamma resonance spectroscopy. So we start with the Mosbach spectroscopy. What is Mosbach spectroscopy? Actually, first the Mosbach effect observed by Rudolf L Mosbach in the 1958 at low temperature for which he received a Nobel prize. Mosbach spectroscopy involves nuclear transition which results from the absorption of gamma rays by the sample it is based on the resonance fluorescence of gamma radiations here emission and absorption are most important terms we can say if this is a emitter which will emit the gamma rays when it comes from the excited state to ground state it emits the gamma rays and here is another absorber that possess the same atom that is a presenting in that is emitting the gamma rays and it can absorb this gamma rays and under who the transition it means it will resonate and this absorption of gamma rays is detected by the detector there are only some elements which are frequently used in the mosbar uh, spectroscopy there are iron 57 tin 119 antimony 121 and iodine 129 iron is more frequently used in a mosbar spectroscopy what is the principle of mosbar spectroscopy Mosbach spectroscopy involves the recoil less emission and absorption of gamma rays by nuclei and the atoms in a source emitting the gamma rays must be of same isotope as atoms in sample absorbing them for example if we use the absorbing if we want to analyze any iron sample then source will be also of the iron so if we use the source of the iron then absorber must possess the iron as the element here only solid molecules are gives mosbar spectrum gases and non viscous uh, liquids uh, do not uh, exhibit mosbar effect because of recoil energy loss here the new term is a recoil effect whenever high energy particle is released from a body at rest the releasing body fills up backing it means it pushed up backward this is called a recoil effect and it is just like a gun when a gun fire the bullet the gun recoil itself it means it pushed backward and this is called a recoil and in this recoil some of the energy is wasted so the energy of gamma rays is slightly less than natural energy of transition similarly for a nucleus at rest to absorb gamma ray the energy of gamma rays should be slightly greater than neutral energy because in the absorption there is also some energy wasted in the recoil for example you can see here this is the emitter these nuclei is this nuclei is emitting the gamma rays and some amount of energy wasted in the recoil this is shown by er capital e r similarly when the gamma ray is absorbed by it and some energy is wasted and it is energy of recoil er er is equal to er square upon 2 mc square where m is equal to mass here recoil energy increase with decrease of a mass so for free nuclei this nuclear resonance that means absorption and emission of gamma rays by identical nuclei is unobservable 
बट वेन न्यूक्लिया इज प्रेजेंट इन अ सॉलिड क्रिस्टल देर इज अ वेरी लिटल लॉस एज रिकॉयल एनर्जी इफ द इमिटिंग एंड एब्सॉर्बिंग न्यूक्लिया वेर इन आइडेंटिकल केमिकल एनवायरमेंट द न्यूक्लियर ट्रांजिशन एनर्जी एनर्जीज वुड बी इक्वल एंड न्यूक्लिया रेजोनेंस बट इफ केमिकल एनवायरमेंट इज डिफरेंट इट विल कॉज द शिफ्ट इन अ न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी लेवल्स to bring the nuclei in resonance the energy of gamma rays is slightly changed by doppler effect okay then see what is doppler effect in this effect the energy is changed by vibrating it means it can vibrate the source with the certain velocity then due to this vibration the energy of the gamma rays fluctuate it means some time it will increase and some time it will decrease and that is a certain moment this energy will become equal exactly equal to the energy of absorber so the absorber can absorb the gamma rays so we use the doppler effect according to the doppler effect e des is equal to e 1 plus v upon c e des is equal to change in the energy and e is equal to the energy of gamma radiation v is equal to velocity in millimeter per second c is equal to velocity of the light most commonly used nuclei or element in the mosbar spectroscopy is the iron 57 but it is not used as it is what we use we use radioactive cobalt nuclei cobalt 57 and it is unstable it decays naturally by k electron capture it means it will capture a electron from its k subshell so it will decay to the iron 57 nuclei and it is also in the second excited state the energy of that state is 136 kev and it will decay to the first excited state of the iron 57 the energy of it is 14.4 kev it will decay to the ground state of iron 57 and it will emit the gamma rays so this decay from the second excited state to the first excited state is not our use what is our use this first excited state and it decay from it to the ground state is of our use because in this decay gamma rays emitted in the quite appropriate that is 14.4 kev and this gamma ray can be absorbed by the absorber and it will under to the transition by absorbing this gamma ray and the detector will detect this gamma ray the, the spin value of uh, the second excited state of the iron is 5 by 2 and that of the first excited state will be 3 by 2 and that of the ground state will be 1 by 2 so we can see this technique what happens in this uh, this technique this is cobalt nuclei that is used as the source but it is not used as it is as the source it is embedded as the rhodium crystal why in the order to remove the recoil loss loss in of the energy so that the loss of the energy in the recoil will be lost so it is embedded in the rhodium crystal this source is the vibrated with the vibrator here the vibrator is vibrate with the certain velocity that is measured in the millimeter per second so at a certain and then it uh, emits the gamma radiation but it is vibrating so at a certain moment the frequency of the energy of gamma rays is increased and sometime is decreased and sometime it is appropriate it is exact that is required by the absorber to the absorb 
so the gamma rays is absorbed by the absorber and it undergoes the transition or we can say if resonate so this is a de detect by the detector the detector counts the number of gamma rays but when the radiation is absorbed by the absorber here will be the left of the radiation that will be detected by the detector and it will be in the form of the dip in the gamma rays so if we see its graph between the number of count of the gamma rays and velocity at which this this vibrator is vibrating so at a certain velocity the energy of gamma radiation become equal to that is required for absorption by the absorber so this gamma radiation is absorbed by the absorber so we get a dip here because here the radiation has been absorbed by the absorber so the detection is detect the dip here the peak in the form of a dip okay the next topic and uh, next terms we will see in the next talk thank you